Good morning, it's Wednesday the 20th of April. This is Coffee with God. If you have your Bibles, turn to 1 Peter, chapter 2, we're going to look at verse 10. 1 Petrus, hoofstuk 2, en ons gaan na vers 10 kyk. My lady is koffie met God. So I hope you got a decent cup of coffee with you this morning. That's good coffee. Yesterday we spoke about the fact that God really knows you. Dealing with external attacks and struggles and dead ends. And we spoke about Moses and Abraham and Joseph. This morning I want us to take that team and say there's not only an external uh, battle and external war, external circumstances that test us, that try us. But there's an internal struggle between the Holy Spirit and and our flesh. The, the weakness, the lusts, the desires, that which uh, tests us and tempts us and pulls us into places and into decisions that we know we shouldn't make, into things that we shouldn't say, and into things that we shouldn't do. And he says, Beloved, sorry, it's verse 11, uh, 1 Peter 2, verse 11. Beloved, I urge you as aliens and strangers to abstain from fleshly lusts, which wage war against the soul. God calls us to be a holy people, a people set apart. We're in the world, but yet Peter describes us as aliens, you know, creatures from outer space, and strangers. In other words, our culture, our our mind shift, our worldview, our approach to doing life is strange to those that are in the world without Jesus Christ, without having accepted him as Lord and Savior, and without being sealed with the Holy Spirit in their salvation. So, ons tree anders op, ons is vreemdelinge, um, en dan uh, is pas ons glad nie, hier in hierdie leefstel, want, want ons is gevul, geseel met die heilige geest van God, en daarom is ons anders. We are different, because we have a holier spirit in us, than the spirit of this world that is in the majority of people who are unsaved. So as the spirit leads us and prompts us, and, and God in us, helps us to identify our weaknesses and the lusts, uh, the fleshly lusts, that we side with God and we decide with God to abstain, to lay off uh, those temptations and withstand them, and so keep ourselves set apart for the work of God. So even, even within yourself, not just the external battles and the external struggles, but the internal struggles and the internal battles. God really knows you and he really knows me. He's with us. He's, his spirit is with us. Jesus is the intercessor who stands in God's presence and says, I know what it is to be fleshly. I know what it is to be human. I know what it is to have this inner struggle where the world and the desires and the, the lusts and the, and the temptations of this world are pounding on us all the time and within us is this innate desire to please self at all in any cost and then there's there's the 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 willful desire to be christ-like there's the willful desire that god by faith doesn't only save us but he sanctifies us he makes us holy uh, he purifies us and it's the work of him and the Holy Spirit in us. It's not us that make ourselves better people. It's God in us that makes us a better person. So as you fight this, uh, this battle, I love the terminology of which wage the fleshly lust, which wage war against our soul. It's warfare, my friends. In warfare, you have lulls in the battle, but you're still on the battlefield. So you need to be alert, you need to be awake. But in the midst of this internal battlefield, which is raging a war in us, know that God is with you. Know that 
we don't have to give in and lose this battle or this fight or this war. Stand strong fighting for your faith. And I urge you, along with Peter who urges you out of 1 Peter 2 verse 11, I urge you as aliens and strangers, don't look around at the people in the world and say, I want to be like them. Let them look at us being different in this environment and saying, heck, how can they do that? I want to be like that. We're the ones who go upstream. We're the ones who row against the tide. We're the ones who face into the gale, go into the storm, walk on water, sleep in, on boats in, in the midst of, of angry, tossing waves and wind-tossed seas. Before I wax too lyrical and get carried away. The bottom line is God knows you externally what's happening, but he knows about the inner struggle and the inner battle as well. And as an alien and a stranger, don't give in to the fleshly lusts. Ask God to help you to withstand them. And uh, let's win this war that's going on within us between the flesh and the spirit. May the spirit in you be stronger than the spirit, greater than the spirit is in this world. Overcome. And give you the victory over temptation and sin, even today. Enjoy the rest of your coffee. Lord willing, I'll see you tomorrow morning with Coffee with God again. Today I choose.